guys, I'm back again for another Yashahime update. So, in this video guys, we're going to talk about the reason or one of the possible reason why Inuyasha's gang is not present in the current sequel of Inuyasha. Well, I know many of us guys are forming a lot of theories about Inuyasha's gang whereabouts, but I just figured out something new this time, something that is more reasonable. Well, if you remember guys on my previous reaction videos, I told you that Inuyasha's gang might be trapped in different dimensions of time. That's why they are not present in the current episodes of Yashahime. However, I'm still not withdrawing that theory because that may still be possible. But then, something triggers my head right now because of this butterfly. You know the butterfly that stole Setsuna's dream? Like... I'm having this kind of theory that that butterfly might be the reason why Inuyasha's gang is not currently present. Remember guys, uh, remember that Setsuna's dream and memories has been stolen by this butterfly? That's why she can't remember Tawa and she can't even sleep. Um, also, I find it weird that this butterfly always flies around the Tree of Ages like... I'm thinking it plays a big role on Inuyasha's gang disappearance. So now, on the fifth episode preview, um, many of us saw Hoshisama or Miroku. And at the time, I was totally shook because if that is really Miroku, then that will nullify my previous theory that Inuyasha's gang were trapped. Right? So, now, this theory that I formulated right now, uh, I think it will be the most sensible and reasonable theory for me because of Miroku. I think Miroku is the answer for all of this theory. So, yeah, uh, we saw Miroku on the next episode and it gives me this thought that Inuyasha's gang are still existing in the feudal era for some reason. Maybe they just don't remember anything because their memories and dreams were stolen by the butterfly. Not only that guys, I find it so weird that Kaidi and Kohaku doesn't know anything about their whereabouts. I mean, especially Kohaku, he's Sangu's brother. Uh, but why it seems like he doesn't know anything? I mean... You know, um, he hasn't talked about her sister, like, like her sister doesn't exist, you know what I mean, guys? I mean, yes, Kaidi told the story about Sushomaru and how he took um, his twin daughters to her. Um, and she also told about um, Kagome and the well. However, it just feels like it's not a big deal to Kaidi, you know what I mean, guys? Like... It's just so weird. Like, everything is so weird for me. I don't know, guys, if you can feel uh, the way I feel right now, but there are some lapses with their memory. Like, it was being manipulated by something. So, yeah, that could be one of the possibilities why Inuyasha's gang are not currently present in the Yashahime episode. Um... Then again, just like what I mentioned, we will be able to figure out the real reason why Inuyasha is not present in the current sequel because of Miroku. Because if that is really Miroku, he should be able to tell something, like a story or something that might happen to them, right? But if he cannot tell or he cannot remember anything, then it's confirmed. It's because of the butterfly. Maybe the butterfly is one of Karin Maru's cohorts. Or Tree of Ages could be Karin Maru's cohort as well. So there are a lot of possibilities that may happen here. But I just found this new theory of mine more reasonable compared to my previous one. So guys, this is not the end of my theory. If you have any comments or suggestions on if you, or if you have any uh, kind of theory that you want to share with us feel